We also normally tape him in here too to all the seams. We would tape him in communications from one building to another, so on and so forth. Excuse me. This piece of equipment right here is uh, one of the latest additions to the, uh, the marine uh, inventory. Uh, it's something that we'll be picking up in the next few months. It is here uh, basically on display to say this is what we're getting. It is a portable gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. It has the ability to uh, detect 73,000 volatile organic chemicals. If we are to mitigate a terrorist uh, event from weapons of mass destruction, I would simply put this on the back of a, a Marine and send him downrange into what we call the hot zone. Once he's in the hot zone, uh, he would uh, use this instrument to try to not only detect, but to identify the chemical that the terrorists would use. By Saddam Hussein's troops. Um, second, uh, Iraq continues to evade and to deceive the United Nations, inspectors who are working to Uh, rogue states with ties to terrorists, such as Iran and Libya, also have chemical weapons and are working to acquire biological weapons. Chemical and biological weapons have been called the poor man's atomic bomb. They are cheaper and easier to produce than nuclear weapons, and they are, as we know, extremely deadly. New lightweight uh, uh, J-list uh, protective suit.